Why don't you go first? Okay. Uh, I'm Garrett. Uh, I'm a senior and I'm a relief pitcher. I'm Corey Vanderstead. I'm a junior and I'm left fielder. Uh, Nolan Sodi, head coach. So. Uh, the game, it was a wild one, really, to be honest with you. We went down 5 nothing really quick in the first two innings. Cole Johnson didn't, uh, didn't have his best outing on the mound, and uh, we had to go to, to Garrett here really early in the third. And uh, he came in and, and bailed us out and kept us in the game, and uh, we ended up scoring a run there in the, uh, the fourth inning and cutting it to 5-1. to one. Then we gave it right back, 6-1. Then we came back with a two spot. And then uh, obviously the seventh inning kind of turned everything around for us. Uh, Tyler Thompson got, in my opinion, he got us back in the game with that home run. And then uh, Garrett held us, you know, he kept us in the game on the bump. And then, uh, you know, the seventh inning, Vanderstay with that two out, uh, three run double really sparked us for the rest of the game. How important for you as a coach is it to know that you have a weapon like Garrett coming out of the bullpen who can really fail you out? Very important. I mean, he's the, uh, as far as pitching is concerned, he's probably the biggest uh, reason why we're in this position right now. You know, we used him every every day in the conference tournament to get here. Um, you know, he's pitched in every important game for us this year. So I think that was his 26th appearance on the year. Uh, Derek, uh, this obviously was a little bit earlier in the game than you're usually used to coming in. Uh, what's the, how is this different for you, mindset-wise, coming in in the third inning as opposed to coming in maybe the seventh, eighth, or ninth inning? Uh, in games like this, when it's do or die, I'm always ready to come in at any moment. And when you're, especially being a senior, I'm throwing seven innings today. I'm going to try to be ready to go tomorrow. This is how it goes. But as my, uh, when it comes around to the mindset, uh, my mindset's always just the same. Uh, something clicked kind of earlier in the year, and uh, I was just able, really able to locate my fastball. So that's what I've been trying to do out of the pen is just locate a fastball and get ahead of guys early. And that is what my approach has been out of the bullpen. That's what I try to do today. Nothing really seemed different as approach-wise. I just wanted to keep us in the game because I knew we were going to get some runs. And when you come in in that third inning, are you thinking, I'm, I'm staying in? Yeah. I'm not coming out. I'm, I'm carrying it the whole way. Yeah, it, it was a lot earlier. I usually come in. Uh, I mean, I've came in as early as a six this year, I think. But coming in in the third, I just I knew I didn't care how my arm feels. In the eighth, I'm just going to go the rest of the way if we get a lead. Just, I just don't want it. Uh, Corey, uh, talk about what you saw in that pitch that, that turned the game around and gave the Lutes the lead with that bases clearing double. Uh, well, I fell behind early, and then luckily I was able to see a couple of balls and left one in the middle of the plate, and luckily I was able to capitalize on it. Let's go back a couple of pitches ahead of that. There was a, a foul ball that just was almost caught down the right field line. Uh, as a hitter in that situation, when you get new life like that, do you feel like, all right, this, this you had your chance. Now I'm going to make you pay. Oh yeah, it's a it's a pretty big relief. It kind of feels like, well, like you said, new life. It's a second chance, so you get two chances at hitting, and probability goes well, way up. Uh, as a as a hitter, when when things aren't going your way like they weren't for the loose the first four or five innings. Uh, what is it that you're doing to adjust to the to the pitcher, try and make you know make him come to you rather than you responding to what he's doing? How do, well, you, how do you do that? The big thing is just not chasing balls. You have to make them come to you. If you go after some balls, then you fall behind the count and you're helping them out. And when you're struggling at the plate, you can't you can't help the pitcher out. You got to make him earn everything he gets. Coach, did you at ever any time feel like we were out of this game? No. You know, I honestly didn't. I know going down five real quick like that, it's, it's not a good sign. Um, I wasn't feeling great about where we were, but I knew that bringing in Garrett, um, I knew that he could hold us right there. And I thought we'd you know, sc scrap out a few runs in the third or fourth. And I didn't know we were going to have a five spot inning, but uh, I felt like we were good enough off offensively to put together a rally. And, uh, and then Cole bounced back. You know, he just uh, That was his first bad outing in a while. Uh, do you expect him to be available later in the tournament if you need him? Since oh, yeah, I'm going to throw him tomorrow if we okay. need him. Yeah, he, I don't know. He only threw about 30 pitches, so um, he's going to throw tomorrow if we need him. Yeah. And uh, as far as tomorrow goes, you have no idea yet who we're playing or who you're playing. So uh, yeah. just focusing on yourself as a team and, and what you guys need to do, is that the plan overnight? That's it. It's always the plan. We're not going to change anything. We focus on ourselves. Uh, we play our kind of baseball. Uh, take it one game at a time, really.
can't look ahead. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.